Hello everyone, my name is Jim Lewis. I'm the founder of Model Train Technology in Orlando, Florida, and today we are announcing a new product. It's an extension of our signal controller line. You may have seen these before. Uh, this is a DCC relay, and the way this works is you use your DCC system, uh, you activate a switch command, and you get a double pole, double throw switch to control just about anything on your layout that isn't already DCC controlled. So you can run lights off of this, you can run motors, um, it's, it's up to one amp capacity on the contacts, and it's powered separately from your DCC system. So the only thing that DCC does is power the electronics for the circuit and the relay. And it's a micro relay, it uses 23 milliamps uh, when it's on, and barely anything when it's off. Uh, so hardly any uh, impact on your DCC system, unless you have uh, dozens of these uh, scattered around the layout, or probably 50 might, might begin to see an impact. Uh, that would be great. Uh, let me show you how it works. I have a Zephyr, uh, Digitrack Zephyr in front of me. I also connected up a hand unit just to, to show you how easy it is. And uh, we're going to use this plug. It does come with wire. Uh, this is three feet long, so you just plug in to here and connect it up to your AB rails on your DCC system. Uh, once I finish with this introduction, uh, there is a brief, uh, about 10 minute discussion about switching, and I just thought it would be a good opportunity to talk about double pole, double throw switches and, and how to wire them up, because that's what you get with your DCC controller. So that's in just a minute. Um, we're going to just use these uh, DuPont plugs to plug in the power. And let me see, that might be the hardest task. Okay, there we go. And I'm gonna put the power on for DCC. And there we go. Now you will see a, a blink there. Uh, we call it the heartbeat. And what it means is there's power to the unit, it's receiving a DCC signal, and the relay is off. So if I go to switch number three, and I throw this, uh, maybe, no, it's closed, pardon me, closed. Uh, then the light goes on and that tells you that the relay is active. I'm going to push it the other way and it goes off and it will show you the heartbeat. So if you're under the layout and you want to know is the relay on or not, the heartbeat shows you the, the circuit is live, uh, but the relay is off and you push, just push close. Um, the address for this, that's always the next question, is any valid DCC switch address or an accessory address is what they call it. Uh, so from one to 2044, and it's really a breeze to program. So we'll turn it off. Uh, uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna hold this. Actually, let me hold it up so it's, you can see it better. I'm gonna press and hold the select button, and after about eight to 10 seconds, the light will come back on, and you release the button, and you'll notice that it's flashing. So the way to program the new address is to hit switch, and I'm gonna use uh, 456, and either thrown or close activates it, it blinks, and now that's the address uh, for this device. It's that simple, and you just connect up the, uh, the switches there. So that's available uh, shipping next week, and uh, just go to our website and visit the store. It'll be called the DCC Relay Controller, and that's from Model Train Technology. So let's take a look at the, uh, the intro and uh, uh, the instructions and, and explanation on the relay stuff. Thanks very much. This is a brief tutorial on switching, including double pole, double throw relays. And the reason we're doing this is so that you can be oriented uh, to successfully use our DCC uh, double, pole, uh, double throw uh, relay controller. So this is a really simple on-off switch called a single pole, single throw switch. If we add a second uh, option or connection to this diagram, we get what's called a single pole double throw. I mean, double means that there's two options. And the nomenclature used is normally closed and normally open. Uh, you might see these indicated as NC and NO, uh, where space is limited on a diagram or on a part. If you add a coil to this, the coil is electrically independent of the switch itself, and that's one of the advantages of this. So you can activate the coil, 
and the coil will make the pole switch between the two normally open or normally closed uh, configurations. So that's how that's a basic single pole double throw switch with a coil. So that would be called a coil relay. And what you might want to do with this uh, single pole double throw switch is simply switch between two indicator lights. In this example, we have a simple 12 volt supply. I did not include the resistor. Uh, it, anytime you use LEDs, you should have a resistor in line. And this would just simply turn on the red and the green light alternately. Now, when you put two of these single pole double throw switches together, of course, you get a double pole double throw switch. And these two circuits, the one above the yellow dotted line and below, are electrically isolated. That is, unless you purposely connect, for example, the commons together or some of the other side, um, they're mechanically connected, so they will switch at the same time with the activation of the coil, but they're electrically isolated. And there are, good, there are advantages of that. So you might have the indicator lights work on the lower half of the switch, and you might have a motor or a switch of some kind, uh, other, other kind of activity going on, and they can be independently powered so they can be, have different voltages. So that's one of the real uh, nice advantages of having a double pole, double throw switch. And the DCC controller, relay controller that we are introducing here um, has a double, throw, double pole, double throw switch inside. Um, one of the common things to use a double th pole double throw switch is, is to reverse the polarity. So in this case, we're using the two commons as the output rather than the input. And the yellow block there indicates this is more of the way the physical switch works. And when you switch the switch, the yellow connections uh, go in parallel and reverse the voltage since the two power supplies are crossed. Uh, between the outputs. So if you look at the bottom, uh, you can see how they're connected and then, it, and then go to the top and switch. So um, you might use this to control a tortoise machine where the two uh, motor inputs, uh, the way you turn, activate the motor is just to reverse the voltage. So this is how a double pull, double throw switch would work in that configuration. You might have this mechanical switch on your panel and that's how you would change the tortoise switch. Um, so here's the signal controller, the DCC uh, relay inside. It has a double pole, double throw switch. And here are the outputs. Uh, so they're, again, electrically isolated, but mechanically connected. And uh, you can just follow this diagram as you're wiring up your outlet. Uh, the two, the hole in the middle on the bottom is the uh, blue LED indicator. Uh, we use that uh, to let you know what's going on. And then there's a push button and the push button allows you to set the controller address. Anything that's a DCC valid switch address from, z from 1 to 2044. I hope that was helpful and thank you for watching.